Hello, welcome back to Bianca Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I will be doing a bit of improvisation using uh, one spread chalk note and also one blender modifier. It's uh, basically just Boolean modifier. So let's just jump into it. Compositing, turn on spread chalk add-on. And let's use one note that's actually really versatile. It's, a, it's called the rounded box. But these guys actually can do a lot. I'll show you really quick. So I'm gonna save it into rounded box bool. And rounded box, if you use a viewer draw, will create something that looks like a ball, but it's actually a rounded box. Uh, you can tell when you are using vector in, and then you kind of increase this guy and then you get the rounded box, right? Uh, but uh, this is really fast, uh, versatile, like I said, because you can create something like a capsule. So that's cool in itself. But for what we are doing, I will be doing something like a, kind of like a modern design. This is, can uh, can be like an idea for like a, like a building maybe or like a furniture. This guy is currently just a, a preview. We're not gonna use preview, we're gonna use a uh, BMS viewer. Okay, so just plug that in and we get this guy. Now, uh, with rounded box, it looks like nothing, but uh, if you started to use multiple of rounded box and then start to use Boolean, uh, you can actually create some kind of interesting modern design. So uh, let's create another uh, rounded box. And this time I'll just gonna copy this guy and with the viewer v mesh if you if you duplicate it you're gonna get the same uh, name for the mesh that's not good you should name it differently so let's do it like that and let's try maybe this time we're gonna move it in the in the y direction a little bit and perhaps uh, just scale it differently something like that right so it's starting to look slightly more interesting. They're overlapping. So let's say, let's turn on the outliner and then we can see there's alpha, beta. We're gonna create a bit, uh, a couple more. This guy, we can adjust it slightly so it has bigger surface. And this guy, maybe just lift it up or something. Like that. Let's do a boolean. So this is the main, this is the main mesh. Remember alpha, and then we gonna boolean it with beta, and we can do the intersection, which will create this design. It's already kind of modern. We can also, while keeping the beta, we we can turn it into wireframe so we can see it more clearly. Um, this guy wire. And now you can see the result of Boolean modifier. Boolean mo Boolean uh, modifier, of course, is really really fast and really stable uh, most of the time. We can use a uh, difference, for example, and you can see now this is the everything is uh, still alive and procedural, so it's really powerful. This is where you can start it to play around with this, and you know like scale it. Even that looks really quite modern. Imagine your computer looking like that. I mean, modern in a in a in a retro kind of way. So, so that's cool. You can do that. Okay, that seems quite nice. But I don't want to go too far. I guess a little bit, a little bit like that. So this is too simply like too primitive or too rounded box, and everything is still procedural again. So let's uh, let's do this once again. Create a viewer B mesh. If you create nodes that way, this will create a new name. Although it's kind of the same name as this guy, so that's not good. Let's do another one. This one's gamma, okay? Alpha, beta, gamma. This guy will be on the side, perhaps. Same thing. Matrix is just uh, transform. So let's. Push this to the side, and this time we're gonna do it like that. So it's gonna cut it that way. 
And what's cool, of course, we can also mirror this guy, mirror it in the maybe using the mirror, using the alpha as the mirror objects. So now we have this guy, and then we want to use this um, gamma as a cutter for this guy. So another boolean, use gamma and difference. So with gamma, we just turn it into wire once again. So now we have this and we have the ability to cut it if you like. So that's already kind of really cool looking objects. And you can perhaps print this out already if you want. So look at that, look at that. How nice looking that, uh, this is like a, how can I say this? Is it parametric? No, it's a procedural. It's a type of modeling that's a uh, kind of different. I, I like it. I like to model this way as long as uh, the results. Normally, people don't like modeling this way because the result might be not very clean. But uh, this is actually quite interesting in itself. Did I just move this guy? A little bit. Yep. File, save as. So let's do one more. Uh, but we can always go back to the original something like that Let, let's make like uh, something that's a little bit more advanced okay so how advanced let's have a look rounded box this time we're gonna cut it let's use viewer draw first just in case we made we make crash blender and let's make it looking like a capsule yep something like that right and it looks like a cylinder right we just gonna cut it so line plug into the matrix like that and we can have multiple of this guy and we can center it and then we can simply move it vector move it's pretty easy just move it in the in the y direction so we're gonna cut it like that we can have a little bit more if you like just now it's a uh, doesn't seem to be updating okay that's maybe because it's too small Oh, I can control it using radius. Okay, so that's kind of fine. File, save as. And with this guy, it's gonna be slightly tricky, slightly not too bad. Apply matrix. So one, two, vertex polygon, and then the matrix join together. It's gonna be a single object. It's gonna be called delta. Okay, so that's gonna be, uh, you guess it, it's another boolean. Go back to the original mesh, and this boolean number three, we're gonna do, a, oops, not gamma, that's delta. And it's gonna be difference. And this guy, now it's gonna be wire. So now you, you end up with this design, and everything still alive and procedural. Um, there's like a sharpness there, but it's, that's okay, not too bad. Boolean is this way is kind of clean you can control the stepping see you can have a control the stepping and you can control the radius and if you like you can always change the design so now what you end up with is something like this and now normally ideally so let's say you have something like this and then you're happy with it uh, boolean still alive everything is good three process boolean and you, you just want this this guy right here you can do a duplicate uh, sh shift D I don't know yeah and then and then just simply apply everything and you're gonna get this design right this design is a uh, if you if you just smooth it it looks pretty crappy if you use a uh, maybe like a remesh and smooth it maybe that's not so bad you can actually print this out it's not too bad there's no 
maybe you can like smooth it really really quite a lot and then you get this which is kind of all right but i'm pretty sure you can just print this out uh with this guy um you can perhaps i don't know barefoot it there's a, there's a, actually another blender like a special version of blender that's allow you to add a bevel nicely but this one doesn't quite work but anyhow um i want to show you there's one method here if you use another sphere chop and then create another node tree this will definitely potentially crash uh, blender but uh i'll show you anyway bemis viewer i'm gonna grab this guy um objects in get selection pause and then viewer draw and yeah there you go it crashed um that's because there's a, some kind of dependency that's uh, it doesn't like it when the the data is kind of cycling so it crashes of course but uh yeah ideally i would like to to be able just to get to get this guy and then create a like a some kind of duplicates maybe that's possible i don't know um maybe from here no not really it's because this is the original remember this is the original object and there's like a boolean processing happening here but you got all we got all this kind of extra objects and then they they all become kind of dependent of each other uh, but anyhow so you can't just objects in this guy and then you want to kind of view it view it as, as a new object um, but anyhow that's a that's a quick method um, I think this can be useful for a lot of uh, design problem uh, even though you got you are really just using a single object a single nodes rounded box and they use a lot of boolean you're gonna end up with a lot of design that looks kind of modern and retro all right give it a try let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye